Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy, and today I thought I would put the Ryzen 7 1700 up against the Intel i7 7700K. So this is a bit of a price-to-price -price comparison, because here in New Zealand they're coming in at a similar price point, and I just thought I would do this one because I had both of these CPUs, and why not? It's a bit of fun. So let's uh, jump straight into it with the CPU specs then. So if you do not know, which you should know by now, the Ryzen 7 1700 is an 8-core, 16-thread CPU with a 3 gigahertz base clock, 3.7 gigahertz turbo clock, and a 16 megabyte L3 cache. It is fully unlocked also. And the 7700K is a 4-core, 8-thread KB Lake CPU with a 4.2 GHz base clock, a 4.5 GHz turbo clock, and an 8 MB L3 cache. So the cache per core is the same on either of these CPUs. And of course, being a K-SKU, it is fully unlocked. So let's talk about the test rigs then, what we tested them on. So the 1700 was tested on the Ryzen test rig with the Aorus Gaming K7 X370 motherboard and the 7700K was tested on the KB Lake test rig with the ASRock Fatality Gaming K6 Z270 motherboard and both were tested with the same graphics card, my personal card, the Gigabyte G1 Gaming GTX 1080. So let's talk about the overclocks then because I tested both of these CPUs at their uh, stock clocks and at their overclock settings. So the 1700 here went up to 4 GHz on all eight cores. That's pretty typical of a Ryzen CPU. If you get a decent one, you'll be able to get four gigahertz out of it. If you get a really, really good one, you'll get like 4.1. And if you get a not so good one, you'll maybe get 3.9, uh, maybe even 3.8 gigahertz. Now the 7700K. Now this thing already starts out with a pretty high stop clock speed, but it goes even higher. So I managed to get 4.9 gigahertz out of it. I think I could have got 5 gigahertz out of it, but boy, this thing was getting pretty hot by that point. Um, but at 4.9, I managed to bring down the voltage a little bit, so it was fine in terms of temps. Both of them were fine. There wasn't any throttling or anything like that. And 4.9 gigahertz on all uh, four cores is still a very uh, respectable clock speed, that's for sure. This thing is really hauling along. So uh, with all that being said and done, let's jump into the benchmarks and see how these uh, two CPUs perform. So this is once again a mixture of gaming and productivity. So let's see how these two CPUs perform. we're back. So, what do we make of those benchmarks then? Well, productivity-wise, the Ryzen 7 1700 wins big time. That's to be expected. I mean, it is an 8-core, 16-thread CPU, so that's double what the 7700K has. 
so it's going to work out better for it in terms of productivity but also did pretty good when it comes to gaming the 7700k um, in general should do better in gaming if you look at other tech youtubers testing where they're focused um, entirely on gaming performance you'll see that the 7700k will generally come out on top that is mainly because most games these days cannot utilize the eight cores of the uh, Ryzen 7 CPUs and also because many of them like high clock speeds like what you get out of the 7700k once you overclock it so overall I would say that the 7700k um, in general for people would be the uh, slightly better one when it comes to gaming performance but the 1700 is just going to be the more powerful all-round CPU when you mix uh, productivity tests into it it just has more power which is what I like to test for it that's why I do that mix of productivity and gaming which brings us now to the conclusion and what do I make of these two CPUs so we got to bring price into the equation so right now at Playtech you can pick up the Ryzen 7 1700 for 485 New Zealand dollars the 7700k sells for 535 New Zealand dollars at Playtech so it's $50 more expensive to pick up this guy and for that you get half the cores half the threads and no cooler um, so it's not really the best deal when you think about pure value for money now that's not to say that the 7700k is this just terrible CPU as I said, those clock speeds are very, very impressive, and this will do very good in um, specific gaming scenarios. And if all you're doing is playing games, then on average, you probably will be better off with the 7700K. But if you're doing um, productivity, like if that's mainly what you're doing, then you're going to be better off with the 1700. If you're just doing a 50-50 mix of productivity and gaming, you'd be better off with the 1700. If you're a streamer, you'd be better off with the 1700. And unless all you're doing is gaming I would probably pick the 1700 over the 7700k because it's just the better CPU in terms of pure value for money but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below which CPU would you rather buy would you rather get the 1700 with the 8 cores and 16 threads but those lower clock speeds or would you rather go for the 7700k which uh, does have less cores and threads but does have those higher clock speeds and in general tends to do a bit better when it comes to gaming performance let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think if I personally had to buy one I'd buy the 1700 but let me know what you guys think I'd really like to know I right, thank you all for watching this video please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already and like the video and as always I'll see you guys next time Why am I having so much trouble today, Teddy? What is going on? <sighs> Why do I struggle so much sometimes? Alright, let's get the video done.